The first three days of March have been a little weird here on PEI, locking it down in the red zone. That goes no different for your Charlottetown Islanders. Uh, we're all doing the isolation thing, doing our part to keep PEI safe. Uh, but while we're doing it, we're going to have a little bit of fun here too. So this is Isolated Incidents. So the first question, Oscar, whose gear on your guys' team smells the worst? I'm going to have to say Sammy's because he's always washing it. He's always asking Kev and Spy to put like every single piece of his gear into the washer with all that gitch. That's a that's a tough one. Kev and Spy do a pretty good job keeping keeping all the boys' uh, gear clean. But I, I'm going to say Gooby. Probably uh, Gooby's. <laughs> Gooby's just kind of a smelly guy, really, in general. He, he can stink up the boss sometimes, so I'm guessing it's, I'm guessing it's Gooby. I'll say Gooby. Yeah, Gooby. <laughs> Spide's pretty, pretty keen on washing everything, so I'll, I'll give Spide credit for that and not throw anybody under the bus there. I would say that I, my gloves are probably one of the worst smelling things in there on our team. <laughs> just, like, I've started to wash them in the washing machine, so they haven't been as bad, but in the past, uh, it, like for some reason, I could never get my gloves to not smell bad, and I don't want to throw anybody else under the bus, so I'll throw myself under the bus. Who on your guys' team has the weirdest superstition, like pregame ritual or superstition, or anything like that? The goalies obviously are weird. They got their whole rituals they like to do. They have their those little bouncy balls that they throw off the wall and stuff like that, and do all this weird stuff with that. Colton does quite a bit of stuff when he plays in game days. He kind of has different things with headphones. Like sometimes you don't see him for a bit. But. Like I, I'd like to say that I'm pretty, I'm pretty normal with, with my routines. Like nothing crazy, pretty standard. Um, I think Goob's pretty well the same way. So Oscar goes out really early for. Uh... Like before we go out, so I'll say that, I don't know. Playing those, like, dress probably 30 minutes before warm-up. He's out in the hallway buzzing around. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe Sammy. Sammy the other day, Sammy was dressed, I think. He was literally had his skates on before I was done warming up. Probably Sam Oliver. He does some wacky things. He's always pretty, uh, pretty paranoid with tape jobs and all that stuff. Maybe him. Sammy's had a couple different couple different like times where he's done some weird things before the game. I'm gonna give you a little bit of redemption here because a few of the interviews I've done before this have named you as like the, the weird superstition guy. So what does a game day look like for you then? I usually show up like pretty early, but like three, three and a half hours before. Kind of just get out of my suit and just get all my sticks ready. The sticks are probably the, uh, that's where I spend the most of my time kind of getting ready. I just gotta make sure all my tape jobs and everything's all perfect. If I'm not not playing well, I'll switch it up and switch up the color, switch up the, the, the knob. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I kind of have like these essential oils and I kind of smell those before I get on the ice. I'll say maybe uh, like virtue and peach or put like something on their legs and stuff. Which of your teammates is most likely to lock himself out of their room on a road trip? Drew Elliott. <laughs> sure. Definitely you like Ben Boyd or Drew. <laughs> yeah, I'll say I'll say Drew or Boyder probably. Everybody kind of knows this would probably be uh, Boyder and Al. Ben Boyd for sure. No question about it. I would go with uh, Ben Boyd and Drew Elliott just because they're roommates together. I'd have to either go with Ben Boyd or Drew Elliott. <laughs> Last question, Colton Ellis just signed this uh, new contract with St. Louis Blues. What's the first thing that you think Colton is going to buy with that brand spec new contract? Well, it's kind of become a ritual here that uh, when somebody signs a contract that they are supposed to take the team out to Take Sushi and buy everybody sushi. Nice. Uh, I, I think P.O. did it before I got here and then Nikita followed suit. Uh, Quorums hasn't gotten the chance yet to do it, but I think Quorums and Colton, I think those would be the first, uh, the first purchase they'll have to make for the boys after they, we get out of quarantine. I don't know, maybe he might be treating the boys to some Take Sushi soon, so I don't know. Maybe if we get out of isolation, maybe that's what I'll splurge his money on. I'm going one or two ways. If we're out of isolation anytime soon, he's probably going to buy the boys something to eat, I'm guessing. Uh, or he'll buy himself something. He's either going to like buy his parents something or himself, like a car or something like that. Maybe like a nice set of shoes. He's a big H&M guy, so probably go there and get a few things for sure. Colin and I are huge H&M guys. Like, we love, like, it's not too expensive there, but 70% of the clothes he owns is H&M. So, I mean, we're in work isolation right now, but he might go on the H&M site and order some clothes. That'd be my guess. I've been asking everybody else this question, their opinions. So now we're going to get it from the horse's mouth. Uh, what's the first thing you're going to buy with your new contract? Oh, 
I'm a big fan of H and M. Maybe a new couple new dress clothes. Maybe some dress clothes. Maybe a dress jacket. Kind of uh, get some more style points going here. So now I gotta call you out as a veteran and as a teammate guy because the answer so far across the board has been the first thing you're gonna buy is Take Sushi for the boys once you guys are out of isolation. Yeah, I think me and Carms are gonna have to treat the boys here. I'm, I'm, I think it's uh, pretty well expected, so we'll have to take the boys out.